I quickly want to compare and contrast Credit I Visa, Tomo Card, and X1 Card, as well as Apple Card. Don't go anywhere. We are trying to find the best fintech card today. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Story Kid. We show how are you today. I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. In today's conversation, we want to talk about the best fintech credit builder credit card. So we are going to do a compare and contrast between a Credit AI Visa, Tomo card, X1 card, and Apple card. Right now, this is uh, these four are among the top 10 fintech credit builder credit cards that in other words those are cards that can help you build credit very fast but before we get into the actual compare and contrast let's go back to the definition here what is what is a fintech credit card fintech just stands for financial technology so when you hear the term fintech just think about those companies it's a new wave of companies that are combining technology with uh, uh, their expertise in the credit credit environment to provide services and they I would actually you can uh, get loans from them credit builder loans you can get credit builder credit cards but those companies are not traditional lenders they're not banks they're not so what they do is they ha they have a, a partnership with uh, existing uh, banks or other credit card providers okay and one of the most important innovations you need to pay attention is when it comes to fintech credit card is that you're not really, you don't really need uh, to have credit to apply for and get approved for this kind of card. Because what they do is they actually they pay attention to other factors to approve you. So they, they pay attention to your bank account, right? So the balance in your bank account. They pay attention to your job status. Are you employed? Are you employed full-time, part-time? And they want to link your bank account to the card. So basically, you're using your own money to build credit and that's fantastic they also pay attention to things like utilities rent so if you are a good uh, tenant if you pay your rent every month and you pay utilities a cell phone so on and so forth you can use those uh, transactions to actually build credit and that's fantastic and we love the fact that uh, fintech credit cards such as uh, credit i tomo x1 and apple they are pretty good because they open the arena if you will to millions of americans who can now thanks to the innovation they can have access to credit so they can build their credit they can report their transactions to uh, the three credit bureaus experian transunion and, and uh, equifax and slowly move their fico all the way in the 700s that's fantastic and one thing i, I want to see here before i get into the actual uh, review here is that fintech cards are a great option if you want to keep your credit card relationships simple and by the simplicity here is um, you, you see the simplicity not only when it comes to applying for the card, right, but also monitoring your credit and also repaying the, the debt. In other words, it's very simple. It's very streamlined. A lot of times these things happen online. They happen on mobile. You don't have to uh, call uh, someone on the phone and uh, submit your application. No, like you, you would do if you were to go to. A traditional credit card issuers such as a capital one or american express with the fintech cars you everything happens online they will need your your mobile number they'll need your, your cell phone they will need your bank account they will need of course they'll need some kind of id to identify you of course right and one thing i want to see here is that again going back to what i said earlier a fintech credit card issuer is not a financial institution so you can't really like Oh, I'm going to build a, a relationship with them. They will know me so that later on I can get mortgages or student loans from them. No, you can't do that. They're only there to help you build credit. Now, having said that, there are some players, for example, Chime, that have a bank. So 
Chime is bigger among the fintech credit card issuers, but we will uh, review Chime, the Chime Visa card on, our, on another show. But what I want to say here is that do not just use the credit card, build, the credit builder credit cards as a, a transitional phase to help you establish credit. And then you can use that credit. You can parlay that credit into a better lending relationship with an established bank or an established credit union okay so you can't get a you can think about getting a mortgage with a, a fintech credit card issuer or a student loan or any type of uh you know i would say a large loan before i get into the actual uh, comparison please check out this short evaluation video it tells you how we uh, evaluate how we categorize and how we list credit cards on this show check this out All right, let me first review the Credit I Visa card. When we think about the Credit I Visa card, I want you to think about a technology rich card that has no fees and interest, okay? So this is the kind of cards you wanna get if you are comfortable using uh, your mobile, doing transactions on, on your cell phone. And uh, basically this is a card you can use to build your credit and you don't have to pay any fees. That's fantastic, right? Think about that. And, uh, but the, the, the drawback here is that don't expect the Credit AI Visa to give you any rewards. No, they're not in, they're not in that department. <laughs> they're very good in terms of uh, uh, avoiding fees for you, but they're not in the department of giving you rewards. There are other cards that will give you rewards, but not uh, the Credit AI Visa card. And uh, so you don't need any credit score. You, if you have low credit, poor credit, no credit, they will take you because their criteria are totally uh, totally different. One thing, they're totally different. One thing I want to say here is that um, to apply, very simple. You go to the Credit AI website. You have to apply for uh, beta access. One thing I need to say is that uh, the, the program right now is still in beta. So they are, they are constantly, I would say, expanding the, the program. And they said that in, within a few months or years, they might actually cover the whole United States. But right now they're constantly uh, in, constantly expanding their uh, their reach and uh, so you all you have to do just apply for beta access you uh, fill out the information with uh, you fill out the form rather you put things like your name address and phone number okay and submit very simple you got to put your phone number they're very important okay so what they will do is they'll get back to you they'll get back to you they'll review your uh, your uh, your um, your application and they'll get back to you one thing you need to understand is that you need to have a bank account and basically you're gonna use your own money okay to actually uh, build your credit and uh, don't worry about the safety of funds because uh, Credit AI works with uh, the Wellington Savings Fund Society which is uh, an FDIC insured bank so no problem your cash is insured up to a quarter of a million two hundred fifty thousand dollars okay and uh, th there are a lot of benefits with a Credit AI Visa card so you have no fees and interest rates I already spoke about that you have stealth cards you have metal card and this is a card you can start using right away no need to uh, no need to wait okay and you have early access to your paycheck as i said you're using your own money okay and you can build credit so they are basically um they have a, a feature called a credit optimizer that helps you uh, build credit over time they will actually uh, report your transaction to the three major credit bureaus let me talk to you now about tomo card and tomo card this is a, this is a card that we have extensively reviewed on another show if you want more information, you want to go to that show. And one thing I need to say here, the Tomo card is kind of cool too. It's another credit builder credit card that allows you to build credit without credit history. If you have poor credit, low credit, no problem. And the innovation with the Tomo card is that they actually allow even non-US citizens, so they allow aliens to apply. And uh, we have read based on our research that the, the founder of the card, the this company itself it was, uh, I think she was, um, she was an immigrant and uh, she was so, so uh, she had a wonderful inspiration to have 
a credit card company that will actually uh, cover the whole nine yards and allow millions of Americans, millions of uh, millions of Americans, and uh, even immigrants to access the credit industry. What I want to see here is that with the Tomo with the Tomo credit card, you can actually um, you have uh, there is no fee. You don't have to. You don't need any minimum credit score. And the purchase APR here uh, oscillates between twelve nine nine percent to twenty six point nine nine percent. And this is, uh, you can get a potentially high credit limits. Again, this depends on your finances. You, you're, you're using your own money. So you can get an unsecured credit limit between $100 and $10,000, okay? Just remember, when we speak about FinTech, credit builder credit cards, you are using your own cash. They're not lending to you. They're just helping you to build your credit with your own money, okay? And the cool thing about the Tomo credit card is you have rewards. So you have 1% cash back, 1.25% 1, 1. after six on-time payments, and 1.5% after 12 on-time payments, plus 2 to 10% back from select merchants. So this is, uh, this is great. We love the cash, back, um, the cash back feature with Tomo. And uh, also one thing you, you need to understand that with Tomo, you cannot carry your balance. There is no 0% intro APR period. There is no sign up bonus. You do have uh, cash back, but you're not getting any bonus when you sign up. So it's something you need to uh, pay attention to. I will be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back, folks, to uh, another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still here. Doing a compare and contrast between a uh, Credit AI Visa card, Tomo Credit Card, Apple Card, and X1 Card. And now I want to talk to you about uh, the Apple Card. This is a great card too that uh, people need to to know about. Now, what's up with the Apple Card? Now, the uh, with 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 Apple Card, you basically first of all you got to have an iPhone, so you have to be a an Apple user, an iOS user. So this sort of uh, restricts the uh, the population already of users right but with the, the apple card we have uh, a constellation of wonderful features you have uh, apple approved security no fees okay low interest cashback rewards unique reward redemption and balance and spending tracking now we all know that apple is really cool when it comes they're wonderful when it comes to technology when it comes to interface when it comes to tracking things and uh, they have actually parlayed that technological sophistication into the credit industry with their Apple card. And so with, with uh, the Apple card, everything is fine. You can see exactly where you are in terms of your credit, in terms of your spending, okay? And uh, based on our research with the rewards, you can get 3% uh, daily cash back on Apple products with Apple card. So this is pretty cool because they really are trying to encourage uh, people to uh, buy from them, which makes sense, you know, totally makes sense. And uh, so the, the purchase APR oscillates between 11% and 22%. The balance transfer APR has, follows a, a similar pattern. So it fluctuates between 11% and uh, 22%. And uh, one, thing, one thing we want to say here is that in some cases, Apple will recommend to have a minimum credit score of 670. But we've seen in some states in, um, in the country where they were more lenient. So they will allow you, even if you have a low credit or no credit, they might allow you to have, um, to have a card. But it really depends. So this is a policy that is not generic, if you will, across the board. Okay. And uh, one thing I also want to say is that with the, uh, with, uh, the Apple card, you do have uh, a sign-up bonus in some markets in the country. They might give you $50 in Apple Cash after you spend $50 at select merchants. But it really uh, depends on where you are in the country. The fourth player in today's conversation is uh, X1 Card. So one thing I want to say here is that with X1 Card, the process is similar to uh, Credit I Visa Card or Tomo. So your credit limit is based on your income not your credit score, okay? So they're not really uh, checking your credit history. They don't have to check your credit history. They are actually, they, they want you to link your bank account to uh, the card. They want you to really uh, see exactly, uh, they want you to to make on-time payments and they will start reporting your uh, X1 card transactions to the credit bureaus right away, right away. There is no delay. There is no probationary, uh, probational, uh, probation period, if you will, no. It's right away. And we love the fact that this is a card that has uh, also 
some rewards so they have a, a rich rewards program so if you're interested in rewards you might want to uh, look into the x1 card and um, the um, you need to have a full-time job okay or an internship now we have actually tested this uh, this uh, if you will this uh, this procedure in in some markets for example Chicago we went to t uh, Texas also uh, in Wyoming in some markets they are pretty lenient so they would allow you to actually qualify even if you don't have a full-time job the, the cool thing here is that you need to have income you need to have income it doesn't matter whether you work in uh, two part-time jobs or three part-time jobs it doesn't matter if you don't have steady paycheck but you got to have income it has to you, you need to have income flowing and you earn rewards it's a great card because you earn rewards um you earn rewards on purchases okay so the rewards can be a 2x points per dollar on all purchases right out the gate or 3x points depending upon uh, the uh, how much you use uh, how often you use the card and we love the fact that, that this card has a low apr i mean low quote unquote low from 13 percent to 19 percent to 20 percent 13 to 20 percent okay and uh this is quite high if you really think about it uh, because um for credit i or uh, tomo you're not paying anything okay so and uh in terms of the credit scores we have actually reached out to x1 it is not clear we they, they did not get back to us and on, on their website it's not really it's not clear exactly how what's the minimum fico they're asking people to have so it's a little blurry there and with the x1 card there are, there are no intro aprs so folks you heard the four the four fintech credit builder credit cards right so credit i tomo apple and x1 so the big question is which one to choose which one should you choose and my answer is very simple it depends on your situation it depends on a on a constellation of, of factors not just your situation i mean I'm, I'm going to break it down first of all if you listen to to this conversation to to this show it's either because you have a poor credit or no credit or you have someone who is in a similar situation okay so you got to really understand what card suits your your situation your personal situation by personal situation i'm speaking about your uh, spending habits okay and your financial situations how often are you a disciplined borrower can you pay back your uh, can you pay back whatever uh, transactions you have uh, spent on can you pay back every 30 days you got to think about your employment status right because some cars will require you to, be, to have a full-time job while others don't really care and do you have a bank account or no and where do you have the bank account can you link it in other words are you comfortable doing bank transactions or you would rather just uh, do a, you know do a, a cash transaction like a check a deposit a check and do you have other credit cards right now and what is your pay frequency because pay frequency is, plays a big role in um, your income and the availability of cash what experts call disposable cash all right you need to think about customer service do you want to do you want to have a customer service where you can talk to someone or you just you don't really care as long as you have your the response to your request you're fine because the fintech credit card issuers most generally they're not really great they don't have an, uh, the whole infrastructure you would see at a regular bank or regular lender everything happens online or or on social media but it's still okay are you comfortable with that then, it, then everything is fine think about your educational needs do you want to have a card a credit card that allows you to learn to learn about credit to learn about personal finance to learn about the budgeting and do you are you comfortable with the mobile experience or a desktop experience so those are this is the array of thoughts questions that i want you to ponder as you are thinking about which which card to choose all right having said that our pick in today's conversation is Tomo credit card and we have given Tomo 9.5 over 10 the credit credit AI uh, 9.5 over 10 X1 card 9 over 10 and the Apple card 8.5 over 10 we actually love uh, credit AI as well the only thing is credit AI is still in beta mode so they're not available uh, in all 50 states 
but the the concept is is fantastic is wonderful they're doing a great job and we would really recommend it so uh tomo or credi I, but our pick for now tomo has been around for a while they have actually proven they've proven their uh the business model so we would go with tomo but uh, credi I is a solid player also x1 and apple they just charge they charge interest rate like 13 percent to 20 percent i don't think if you are if you have no credit or low credit you want to save every cash every cent and penny every penny that you have you don't want to give that to uh, a credit card uh, issuer so the fact that they have uh, the apr they charge an apr is just uh it just has discouraged us when we were doing uh, the analysis all right folks thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it. i will see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous